Good morning. It's Thursday, August 10th. And today I want to talk about something that I think was very important and really something that should exist in every single state in the Union. And that's something that's called the ballot initiative. Now, the ballot initiative allows the population of the state to bring a law to the table to be voted on by the rest of the people in the state. It's something that avoids using the state legislatures or the politicians to do. Now, there are only about 20 states in the country that allow ballot initiatives, but Ohio was one of those states. And they took action against their state legislature because the state legislature wanted to pass an amendment that would require a 60% vote, not a simple majority, which is the way voting takes place now in Ohio, a simple majority and the majority rules. But this state legislature doesn't want to do that. They want to do away with that. And one of the main reasons they wanted to do away with that is because they are trying to push through a very strict abortion law, which has been held up by the courts. This is a six-week abortion law. No abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. And obviously, the population of Ohio is against that. They don't want a six-week law. They want a liberal abortion law. And so they took action. They took this ballot initiative action to prevent their state legislature from keeping them from voting in a majority-winning situation. So obviously the legislature wanted this 60% vote majority in order to control things because it's very difficult to get... 60% of the people to override anything. Whereas when it's 50-50, you have a fighting chance and you might lose. The legislatures recognize the fact that they might lose. And they, that bothered them. So while the state and the population of the state voted Republican, we can clearly see that many Republicans have a different view on the topic of abortion. And they did not want these very strict abortion law to pass. And so they took the action of the ballot initiative. And while Ohio gets roughly about a million and a half people to vote on any issue, this abortion situation, this this ballot initiative got 2.3 million people to vote. So you can see that the people in Ohio, while they vote Republican and while they create a state legislature that's primarily Republican, they have their own opinions about what a good Republican is. Not a strict conservative, down-the-line, white supremacist type Republican, but a fair Republican, a Republican like they used to be, supposedly. So the ballot initiative was a tremendous tool that was available to the people in Ohio, and they took full advantage of it. And so I am wishing that every state had a ballot initiative. And I recognize the fact that if every state had a ballot ballot initiative, it wouldn't always work out the way you think it is. That would mean that there would be states that would do things that I would probably be against. But at least the people would have a say. The ballot initiative allows the people to have a say. Because while they vote for one party or another, that does not mean that they 100% agree with everything that their political party does. 
That goes for Republicans, that goes for Democrats, that goes for even those who are independent. They don't agree on what everything their representatives do is correct. So ballot initiative gives the people a second chance. So I think that would be a wonderful thing if the country had a ballot initiative all over. And maybe even for federal elections. How about that? There could be a ballot initiative for the whole nation. That would really, really create turmoil. Maybe it would do away with some of the political party nonsense that we have to deal with. If you've been paying attention to what's been happening in this country over the last couple of years... You can see that this 60% rule has caused plenty of problems. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't get done because you need a 60% vote. And I've watched Biden and I've watched presidents before him fiddle around and create situations where they only needed a 50% vote in order to get things passed. And I'm sure you can remember several of those situations. But I don't want to go into those now. But we know that this 60% rule, for some cases, is probably okay, but in a lot of cases, it's nothing. And it allows the party in power to maintain a stronghold over what the rest of the nation might particularly want. So many politicians out there have widely watched this test of the Republicans' efforts to curb the use of ballot initiatives. But they failed. And this is a potential barometer of the political climate going into the 2024 elections. So the Republicans have to watch this carefully. They've been watching this carefully. And they may be very well upset by the effectiveness of this ballot initiative, where the constituency came out and voted in huge droves. So while the abortion issue was very powerful and very important, there were many other voters who believed that this was a power grab by the representatives. So there should be no assumption by any representatives that the voters don't know what's going on. Because when they are asked to vote their rights away, they're smart enough not to do that. And their rejection of what their representatives attempted to do is proof that many who vote know what's going on and know who's looking out for what. So the ballot measure that would have required 60%, which is up considerably from the 50%, was defeated, roundly defeated. So based upon these actions, when the abortion amendment comes up for a vote in November, you can be sure that it will be defeated. That the very strict six-week abortion law that they have been trying to get pushed through in Ohio will be defeated because of the actions that have been taken during this ballot initiative. There's very little chance that women will give up the fight and men will give up the fight. This new bat has assured that women will be given the legal control over their reproductive decisions and allowing medical doctors to make the decisions on the need for abortion. There will be no more restricting of abortions in the state of Ohio. So I leave you with that. A valiant effort by the people of Ohio a ballot initiative. Have a great day. Bye.